December 13th, 2017. Thank you for joining me at Evolutionary Energy Arts once again. Right now I want to talk about some out of place artifacts, things that show pretty clearly that what we are reading in our history books is not really giving you the whole story. There is so much more <laughs> than what we have been told. And for instance, the, the Piri Reis map. If you're not familiar with this, this map was found in 1929 in Istanbul and it has been dated back to 1513, right? 1513 CE. And it was made by Piri Reis, who was an admiral in the Turkish Navy, an experienced sailor and cartographer. So this is, you know, quite a ways ago. Um, five, 500 plus years ago and this map shows the Americas and it also shows Antarctica as it would be without ice so how would they know that and how could they give you details on what the land looked like without ice because the last time that Antarctica didn't have ice was over 6,000 years ago so that is a big question map a question mark on the map what is the source of the knowledge was this did he copy it from something that he had found was it oral tradition how could oral tradition translate to this type of detail and all so very very unexplainable but probably even more unexplainable are these spheres that have been dated to 2.8 billion years of age. And that's pretty inconceivable. They were found in South Africa in mines. Now that's really interesting for a lot of people that f know their Anunnaki history. Because, <laughs> you know, what happened in South Africa that is where the Anunnaki had their gold mines and there are mines back there that date to one to two hundred thousand years ago somebody was digging mines in South Africa for gold and other minerals way before humans were able to and even you know around the time Homo sapiens came into being or just prior to the time human beings came into being as homo sapiens sapiens so these spheres how were they made who brought them here was it the Anunnaki that brought them here maybe it was somebody prior to the Anunnaki very very interesting questions and uh one of those things that maybe we'll never know the answer. Now this we're looking at is the leftovers of an ancient Greek eclipse predicting computer that's over 2,000 years old. And this is called the Antikythera mechanism. So <clears throat> completely puzzling to scientists. We were not supposed to have this technology 2,000 years ago. So it was their own version of a supercomputer that was used to predict eclipses. It's an ancient gearbox and it was used to identify astronomical events. So very very interesting. There's no way they were supposed to have that technology. Um, how do you explain that? And then in China, we have the discovery of a 300 million year old screw embedded in a rock. And this is the Lanzhou screw embedded in a rock. And again, very ancient. And it really interestingly too is that this is very, very similar to ones they found in Russia as well in the 90s. 
Now, they, it could be a prehistoric civilizations again. I mean, we have had, obviously, many different civilizations here on the planet that for some reason seem to get wiped out and then start all over again. It's like we keep going back to the Stone Age and then going to a high civilization and then wipe back to the Stone Age time and time again, like some sort of never-ending Groundhog Day. So researchers from many Chinese laboratories have studied the item and it's it's extremely mysterious. They really don't have any explanation for it. And the other thing too is that it's not common rock. So it's not something that's commonly found. It's not typical. So some think that it could be from an asteroid or a meteor coming in and might not even be anything that was made here in that case. It was simply brought here. Is there any chance at all that if there was another planet that blew up, you know, eons ago, that some fragments of that planet that's in between Mars and Jupiter could have hit the Earth? And perhaps this could be an explanation for some of these items, if that is the case? Or is it ancient civilizations that were completely human, but just simply somehow we go through that Groundhog's Day effect and lose our history, lose who we are? Or is it just extraterrestrials that have been here for hundreds of millions of years and we are just newcomers or their genetic manipulation? So there's so many of these things like this geode that when it was opened up you know which is a giant crystal there's an apparently metallic man-made or intelligently made object inside it so another completely unexplainable item and really we could go through thousands of these you know just one after another and so much of the time these things disappear once the Smithsonian gets their hands on them just as the same thing with the hundreds and hundreds of bodies of giants that have been recovered all over the world and that's a topic for another video for sure so fascinating things that prove history is not exactly as we've been told I hope you guys found this fun and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate your support. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for more updates and share with your friends so we could illuminate more people and bring more people into the light and knowing that history is not what they are selling us. Thank you so much for joining me once again at Evolutionary Energy Arts, and I look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Take care.